Your Ford Next Gen Ranger and Everest owners have been asking for it, almost begging for it, and now we've delivered. Enter the Next Gen Rally Bar. All modern vehicles are becoming smarter and smarter, but if you've had a close look at the front of your Next Gen, there's no exception. With cameras, radar, and parking sensors all in close proximity to each other, these pose design constraints that wouldn't normally be thought about on earlier models. We've tactically designed a rally bar to not only work around all of these features, but also enhance the look of your rig. Now, you're here to figure out how to install it. So grab a cold one and let's jump straight in and walk you through each step. All right, the first thing you wanna do, once you've lifted the bonnet, you've got many screws here. So they're a little bit tricky. You just wanna get a small Phillips head screwdriver, hold the little washer apart and very carefully unscrew the top. And once you've got all these screws out, you wanna unthread it from this air intake here. Now we need to get this grill off. There's two bolts at the top, one on each side that holds it in and a bunch of clips at the bottom. So grab your seven mil socket and we'll get these long bolts out. So now that we've got our bolts out, there's a couple more things. We've got our washer jet for the front camera and the camera wiring. So right next to this bonnet latch is your little Christmas tree clip and a little uh, squeezy clip to disconnect the water hose. Over the other side, you'll see a brown electrical clip. So what we wanna do, there's a couple little clips that hold it down to the radiator subframe. We wanna pop them up and then press the brown clip together and separate the wiring. So let's get this grill off now. So the grill goes all the way from headlight to headlight. First thing to do is get the couple clips from behind here. All that is, is just getting a little bit of pressure, maybe one hand on the headlight here and pull the grill. You just need a little bit of pressure and it will pop. So pop each side. So there's eight clips all the way to, along the bottom of this. So you just put some tension on the grill and just firmly pull it out. There's this big plug on the top here. That's actually the whole loom for the bumper. So we want to disconnect this here. We've got two 10 mil head bolts and three little plastic clips. Trim tool really helps for this, but flathead screwdriver will also work. We're almost there, there's a couple more bolts underneath. There's some in the wheel arches, a little bit tricky, but uh, let's jump under and get these bottom ones out. So I've already popped this flare off, but if you look closely, it's a little bit tricky. So what you wanna do is jump right underneath, thread your arms from the bottom, reach up to each one of those clips starting at the bottom, push this one in quite firmly as you're pulling this flare out from the vehicle and jump along to each clip. And once you get these first three done, we need to jump around into the wheel arch and there's a little cover plate there. We'll remove that so we can reach in Get this top clip and there's three bolts attaching the bumper to the fender. Once you've got these three bolts out, right in the center is a clip that holds the bumper to the fender as a last resort. So it will hold it up. You just want to carefully carry the weight of the bumper, squeeze that clip as you're pressing down. And as soon as that releases, your bumper will drop a couple inches. Ah. So that clip was the last thing that you need to do and the bumper will now be free. Very carefully remove it from the vehicle and pop it aside. All right, so next part of this install involves putting this chassis bracket on. First thing is removing this polystyrene here. There's a couple of clips holding it on. They remove exactly like the other clips that we did earlier. You'll notice once you offer this up, We'll actually need to trim a little bit of this, uh, this air dam here, this plastic air dam. Once that is trimmed, we'll grab the template, I'll show you that in a moment. Once that's trimmed, this is removed, this chassis bracket will bolt straight up. So once you grab your template out of the kit 
it is a template that will be used on both sides. Grab yourself a pen, it will line up. It's a bit of a funky shape. It'll line up with the shape that is on the soft rubber here. Mark the two little corners. So just poke your pen through on the center lines and then mark all the way around. Grab a six mil drill bit, line it up with that little pinhole. Very carefully drill it through on each of the four corners. All right, now that we've drilled our two holes, we wanna cut each of those three lines there. It is quite thick plastic, so we want a fine tooth saw or a reciprocating saw or even a grinder. So you just very carefully wanna cut down each line and just carefully break that out. Don't forget your safety glasses. These bolt to the brackets that hold your aircon condenser. So on the top of the chassis rail, we'll need to unbolt that, slip this bracket in, reuse the same bolt and tighten them down. Now that we've got our stabilizer brackets in, we wanna whip out these four bolts, there's two per side, the two outers, We'll get them out, we'll offer up the main bracket to the chassis, reuse the same bolts, and then we'll line everything up and pop some bolts in these top ones here. We want to offer our template to the bumper. We have these four holes here. This one is obviously eccentric. We want to line up these two holes here. This crosshair, this crosshair with the dotted round line is where we need to hole saw to get the studs through from the subframe bracket through to the outside of the bumper. Ballpoint pen again, and we just want to push through and leave a witness mark on the painted surface here. And once we have these witness marks, grab the six mil drill bit that you had before and very slowly drill through. They are your starting holes for the hole saw. You just want to very carefully start spinning the hole saw perpendicular to the surface here. Very carefully drill through. Now that we've drilled this large hole, you can clearly see that there's a wiring harness behind here. We just want to hold that back when we drill the holes. All right, grab one of your most trustworthy friends. They're going to have to hold the other end of the bumper for you. Very carefully pull the flare out here, offer up the bumper. And if you remember that clip that we had in the center, that was holding the, the weight of the bumper. Line that up. Make sure the studs from the bracket, the main chassis bracket, are protruding through. Everything lined up and click it into place. Okay, bumper is reinstalled. We want to basically pop all the clips, all the bolts, everything back together. Don't forget anything. We've got the three bolts in each side, the bolts underneath, click the flares back in, get all these bolted back, and then we'll move to the next step of installing our cage nuts here and the rally bar, the grill and the rally bar. The upright plates are there to help stabilize the rally bar once the weight's on it. So the cage nuts will squeeze in. You squeeze them really firmly, insert them into the back until they snap in. And then once the grill is back in place, we wanna put this, uh, this plate through and a bolt through the opening in the grill and tighten that up on the cage nut. We'll get these just nipped up so they're firm, but won't move easily. And then once we slip the grill on, we'll be able to put an Allen key through and tighten them up so they're firm in place. 
Now, one of the final steps in installing the grill, we need to get the original camera out. The camera installs into the bracket just under the tube on the center of the rally bar. There's three T20 Torx screws here. We want to undo each one of those and then relocate this uh, water tube. Just with a small little screwdriver, you want to get sideways in these little clips. They're like a little uh, over center clamp. So you just want to get the screw, the little screwdriver in between there to lift that up over the other side of it. So what we want to do is squeeze this clip here and remove the water and unthread that out of the cage. Once the camera is removed from the cage, reinstall that back into the grill. So now that we've removed the cable from the grill, we want to be able to run this on the most direct route all the way to the new camera position. So what we want to do is plug this back into the original brown cable holder here, run it straight through this opening here, through the original camera hole right below that Ford emblem, and get it into a position that we can plug it straight back into the rally bar when we install that. The same goes for the water lines. We'll make sure it has the most direct route through the original camera hole. So now that we've offered the grill back onto the vehicle, make sure you reach your hand in, feed those cables and water lines through the original opening where the camera was and reinstall the grill. So now that we've got the grill on, we've sent the camera wire and the water line through. If you're running a set of lights on the rally bar, it's best to send the driving light wiring harness through too. We have a video on that and instructions on our help center. You need to thread this top plate back underneath that air intake, line everything up, pop it back in, place all the clips back in place, and we'll jump around the front and install the rally bar. All right, this is probably the trickiest part of this install. We want to remove the end of the camera off the water line, take that down to the rally bar, insert it into the back of it, and there's a little cradle bracket that goes over the back of it. So once that's inside the back of the rally bar, we want to get around the front. There's a couple little small two and a half mil Allen bolts, and we want to bolt that down. There is a welded captive thread on this little U bracket. So once that's in there, we can offer the rally bar to the vehicle and plug it back in. We've got our large bolts sitting there ready to grab. Lift it up, we'll plug in the water line. And the camera power. Now this is getting exciting. We're almost there. We want to do these up really tight. Make sure the spring washer is right behind the bolt head, your flat washer. This is a structural joint of the whole rally bar. So we want these nice and tight. So these two top stabilizer bars, we want to get our small little M6 bolts, put the spring washer, the flat washer. We want to come to the top to the stabilizer bars. These are the stabilizer bars that come through the grill. So what we want to do is line them up, offering the M6 bolts. These come with flat washers and nylocks, tighten these up and also tighten up the bolts that are on the back of the subframe. So that's a quick wrap up of our next gen rally bar. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and to stay up to date on all of our new products, make sure you like, subscribe and follow us on all of our socials.